Hey, what's up everybody? Al here. I added three bottles to my collection. The first two I've already smelt in the past. The third one is going to be an unboxing. My first impression. I did a swap with someone, so I'm excited about that. Let me, let me show what I got. First, from the House of Chanel, Allure Ohm Edition Blanche. Now the warm weather's right around the corner. I can't wait. I had to start getting some spring summer fragrances. And what better fragrance than Chanel's Allure Ohm Edition Blanche? You got the fresh lemon, some spices, some vanilla. Amazing fragrance. Wow. Nice white cap. Let me show you the box. Can't wait for the warm weather. Chanel Allure Ohm Edition Blanche. The next bottle. I'm so excited about this one. Every time I take the cap off and let people smell the top of this fragrance, they're all blown away. They're like, wow. And it's none other than Bond Number no. 9's Montauk. What an opening on this fragrance. Citrus, well done. Blueberries, mixed berries. The dry down is a little woody, but the opening is where it's at. Wow. You have to try this out. If you're into citrus fragrances, Give this one a whiff. Bond number no. nine's Montauk. And look at the bottle. The bottle's even nice. It's got the Andy Warhol design. Check out the back. Bond number no. nine, Montauk. Let me show you the box. It's got a nice box too. See that? Alright. Can't wait for the warm weather. Third is a box. Package. Got it from my man Rick, freaking 13 guy, thanks a lot. I did a swap with him. Rick is the man. If you're gonna do a swap with him, highly recommend it, first class. Yo, thanks a lot, Rick. There's the priority, came priority mail. Just got it, so let's open it up. Let's open this bad boy up. All right. First unboxing video. Got some newspaper in there, a bubble wrap. Here we go. Comes in a mesh bag, and it's none other than Amen Pure Havan by Terry Mogley. See what the hype is about. Let's check this bad boy out. Comes in the mesh bag. Is the back. Let's open this up. Alright, here we go. Got the rubber flask. Like a chocolate brown color. The gold star, just like pure malt. And here we go. My first impression. Can you see this? Okay. It actually smells a lot like pure malt, with a little kick to it. it. Smells like pure malt with some honey. Pure malt with honey with a tiny hint of tobacco. I'm not blown away to be honest with you, but you know what? Let me see. Let let it let it cook on my skin for a little while. But I get I definitely get pure malt. Little, little bit of honey, little hint of tobacco. I even get like a medicine vibe. It's kind of weird. It smells like pure malt, but like with a little bit of medicine, like cough syrup. I don't know. Well, that's my first impression. Let me see. Let, let it cook on my skin and I'll get back to you guys. But let me see something. Here's pure malt. Let me spray this on my other hand. Yeah, it smells a lot like pure malt. Pure malt with a hint of honey, drop of tobacco, even gives me like a medicine vibe. But you know what? Let me, like I said, better cook on my skin. Let me play. Let me give it a chance. Even like other fragrances like Dior Homme. When I first put it on, I couldn't stand it. Now I love it. So let's see how this one plays out.
That's Pura Van. I'm not blown away, but let me give it a chance. See, it's starting to get a little better. All right, not bad. Well, thanks a lot, Rick. Thanks for the swap. Got my Pure Havana, got to smell it. You guys shared it with me, my unboxing, my first unboxing. And any questions, send me a message, comment down below. I'll see you guys soon. Some great fragrances, right? Go right into the collection. Thanks, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon, later.